The Hog Riders have long been one of the best troops within Clash of Clans, and right now we have the Hog Rider Heaven event where you can get some free items. So in today's video, we are going to be focusing on the mass Hog Rider attacks. These are going to be war related, but they will transition into the multiplayer battles in order to try and help you get the three stars. So let's get into it. Alrighty guys, diving into the first attack, what you can see here is we have a huge amount of hog riders within the army composition. So what you will most likely do with hog rider attacks is use them in a mass format. And what you will do is use a kill squad in order to set up that attack. Now the kill squad can vary, can be very small in that of just suicide heroes controlling the pathing a little bit to a more deeper kill squad as you will see in this one using golems to potentially get into the base a little bit deeper. But essentially you are trying to take out a couple of key objectives but also set the pathing for your hog riders. Now if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe for all of my clash of clans videos and if you hit the notification bell you'll also be notified when any of my videos go live. So for this one we're pressing in from the south of the base and what you can see is we are taking out the enemy queen straight away and the enemy clan castle troops. They are two main objectives that can very easily take down your hog riders. Obviously hog riders can only attack defenses so these types of buildings you want to get down. You can see the ice golem within the CC. Now within the current meta, that is something you'll have to watch out for because it does exactly that. Basically stops your kill squad dead so that it absorbs all the damage. Ultimately it slows you down and then once we've taken out an area of the base, we've taken out this section, we know the hog riders aren't going to go there. They can circle up and around the base like so. They're just going to go for defenses. Now once you set up the funnel in that of the defences you can bring the hog riders in a mass deployment but you can also be a bit surgical so notice the hog riders coming in from the top of the base here as well. What that does is keeps the main pack of the hog riders here together so that they can move through and you can be a bit more efficient otherwise when the hogs got to this area they'd start to split up and come to some of the defences they'd essentially start going all over the place and that's not what you want. You want to control the fire of the hogs they do a lot better damage they can protect each other like that and also you can be a lot more um a lot more effective with your heal spells if you can put your heal on top of a lot of hog riders rather than having one on a small group and then one on another group of hogs that had ran off then it's going to be more effective not to mention that you can actually control the attack more you can predict what's going to happen now you can see that over on the left hand side of the base we did have wizards and goblins coming in in order to help with cleanup now if you are just trying to complete the hog rider event as part of of the multiplayer basically you don't have to worry about the three stars you'll probably want to get the three stars you'll want to get as much loot as possible ideally the 70 percent for the loot bonus but obviously we'll try and give you as many tips here that will transition through multiplayer and war so again looking at the army composition a big group of hog riders for this one we actually have two golems as well so that's going to mean that we have a deeper kill squad for this one and ultimately we do have the wall wrecker here as well now obviously the higher levels you can use the siege machines it's not a necessity. You can basically use wall breakers, a jump spell in order to get further in. You will need these golems to protect if you're wanting a deeper kill squad. Now remember what we wanted on that first attack, the queen and the CC. So hence why we have not one, but two golems because we need to get quite deep into the base here in order to take them out. Now if you are enjoying this video be sure to leave a like before you leave the video it does help out massively but let's get into this one. We had the golems come in with the wizards to take out these trash buildings on the outside and basically when you've done that either side this is basic stuff in terms of your funnel you know your kill squad can then come into the base that's where you want your main 
fire coming through in that of the heroes and the clan castle troops coming out of the war wrecker essentially what we've done here again is take out the cc take out the queen and also some splash damage as well in that of the multi infernos wizard towers there as well any splash damage you can take that is going to help the hog riders now if we pause for a second look at what is left we've actually taken out all of this look you know that when we bring the hog riders in from the top of the base they're going to come down here and around you know exactly where they're going to go therefore you can be a bit more effective with your heels just bringing a couple of hogs to snipe off the mortar on the outside here again that just concentrates the fire of the hog riders into the base itself and nicely timed to merge them together so again, you want a mass hog rider format in order to get this done. The more of a kill squad you bring initially, the less hogs you will have on the back end, but essentially the less they have to do as well. And you can see the heal spells here basically encompass all of the hog riders but also encompass all of the defenses so wherever the hog riders are taking damage they are being healed but the giant bombs the splash damage anything like that is where you want to use them heals mostly again wizards up here are used to wipe out any of the trash buildings you do have to be careful if there's buildings on the inside here for instance the gold mine the wizards on the outside can't reach that without coming in so you might have to rely on your hog riders coming through in order to get around to that or factor in some other troops for example a minion across the map here would be able to take out that gold mine some people will save a hog rider or two just to bring in at the end in order to directly target that it all depends on what you're going for again if you're transitioning this into the multiplayer attacks you don't have to worry about it you just have to worry about the loot and essentially getting the victory in order to go towards them free items but i did want to obviously bring this as a war focused video because that's what i primarily bring on my channel now i haven't mentioned this so far in the video but all of these attacks are by toxic rabbits i did mention in one of my most recent videos that white temple a lot of uh basically over recent weeks a lot of what's been happening they've merged across into toxic rabbits part of the buy forever family so very exciting times but if you are interested in joining us all of the information you will need is within our discord server my discord server in order to head across to that so it's all in the description anyway let's get into this attack Moving up to Town Hall 11, we will move back to a Town Hall 10 attack, but again, this one highlighting the Hog Riders at Town Hall 11, and look at the similarities of what we've got here. We do have, again, a lot of Hog Riders, but we have the Kill Squad here, which is going to press into the base and take out some of them objectives. Now, at Town Hall 11, you also have to factor the Eagle Artillery. That can do splash damage onto the Hog Riders, not a necessity to take down as part of that kill squad, but definitely something you have to be wary of. However, you do have the Grand Warden as well. Now, the Grand Warden can struggle to keep up with Hog Riders, so more often than not, I'd recommend using that as part of the kill squad. As you can see, protects all of these bowlers, the King, Queen, the Wrecker coming through, and actually allows us to get deeper into the base. So most of the time, if you are a Town Hall 11, I'd recommend trying to use the grand warden with the kill squad now as you can see if we pause for a second here hog riders are coming in but we have all of these troops still alive in the center of the base now that is something you want to try and do a lot of the time get these hog riders in quick enough so that it can actually start wiping out these defenses and protect the troops in the middle doesn't always happen but if you can do that you want to try and get it merged into your attack. What you'll see on this one is actually the troops in the middle here go down and it leaves the hog riders by themselves. If we were able to get them in just that little bit quicker, sometimes you have to compromise. Obviously, Joey on this one does a nice job because he, take, he had taken out the majority of the base in terms of the inside. He didn't necessarily need them hogs in order to protect the kill squad, but the pathing has to be right. You've got to wait long enough until you know 
where the hogs are going but you want to try and protect your kill squad is what I'm saying guys it's just one extra tip one other thing to try and bear in mind if you can protect the troops in the middle they might even be able to help to take out some defenses you've just got to see what happens now it does get close this one wizard on the other side here doing a phenomenal job to help in terms of timing and then the hog riders again can clear out the rest of the buildings if the attack is done effectively you probably don't have to worry about time because you'll have the hog riders to clean up however the cleanup squad with a hog rider attack is very very easy it's basically as soon as you've put the hog riders in you get them other troops in in order to help clean up now moving on to this final attack you can see there's quite a few kind of random troops here we'll obviously show you what they are going to be doing but again the majority is a mass hog rider it's it's very difficult to just use a few hog riders on the back end you can but you've got to take a big kill squad to get it done um, for the multiplayer event I'd probably just recommend more of a mass hog rider using that kill squad and finishing off with the hogs but the beautiful thing about practicing a kill squad and getting effective with it is it's it's a basic skill, it's a basic fundamental of Clash. If you can get a good kill squad and get the grasp of doing that, you can then finish off the attack however you wish. Now for this one, the Stone Slammer is actually one of my favourite siege machines. Just check this out in terms of it's opened up all of these wall compartments. So unlike the wall wrecker which has to bust its way through it's already done that since there was a defense here and now the heroes can get right into this compartment enemy queen is there enemy cc is there some fantastic value and again the funnel has already been made baby dragon at the top wizards on the side here to get that done all of our heroes will now easily move into the base apart from the queen she wants to go on the outside to go for this arch tower now she might have gone for the mortar there, did get a little bit fortunate that she comes back in. The funnel was set, the funnel was good. Sometimes though guys, the plan doesn't always go exactly as you wanted it. However, on this one, getting it done into the base here and again we've taken out not just some of the key objectives but also the northern area of the base here. So if you look at the area that we've taken out, the hog riders clearly don't have to go there so now you can see exactly where they will go in terms of finishing up at the top of the base here very nice just reinforcing some hog riders to the south that will basically keep these hog riders here moving through the base and then reinforcing together but again when you've created the pathing like that and if you're doing this on multiplayer, you've got less time to plan, but you should be thinking about it a little bit in terms of where you can use your spells, where the splash damage is, where the potential for giant bombs is. And again, do not forget wizards coming in very quickly here to help with cleanup in order to get the job done. You have no idea how many times I've seen hog rider attacks, myself included, fail or get the 99% because that cleanup squad wasn't in quick enough. Now that is going to wrap it up for this one. I hope that helps with some tips and tricks for the hog riders. If you have any others, please leave them down in the comments. If you haven't subscribed already, the button is right next to me, so go ahead and do it now. But until next time, peace out.